We finally find out when Mountain Blade 2 Battle Lord Beta Keys will be given out. Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition has a release date, Three Kingdoms has some interesting, boring news, and of course, the debate on Mountain Blade 2 Battle Lord and whether it's coming on console. All this and more coming up in today's episode of Resin News. Let's start off with the goodness, the reason you clicked on this video. Everyone knows that I've been playing the closed beta and I've had a lot of questions asking about why they haven't been able to get a hold of it. I was given a key by one of you amazing subscribers that went to Gamescom and so kindly sent one back for me. The only people playing the beta at the moment are people that went to Gamescom and got a key there. But I did make a video of how to sign up to the closed beta and a lot of people did that so they're wondering when the keys will be sent out and finally we have some some confirmation for this. Callum stated on a post on the forums, for those of you that apply to take part in the beta through the link above, we will start to distribute keys next week. Keys will be sent out in waves, so if you don't get a key within the next couple of weeks, don't panic, more will be sent out over time. Knowing this, it's pretty soon before everyone's going to be able to get in on this closed beta, but do remember, loads of people will have signed up, hundreds of thousands of people, so not everyone's going to get a key, and not everyone's going to get one straight away, so do be wary of that. The beta and the closed beta is really about testing things, stress testing some of the bugs and things like that, it's not going to be perfect, it's going to be far from it, but it's important when you get into the beta that you look at it from a testing perspective some feedback for the developers rather than a judgment on a finished game. Whilst for the moment I've been playing it and I've been really enjoying it, it's so much fun and I love the combat, but there are issues with some hitboxes that have been more or less fixed. The projectiles had some bugs earlier on in the closed beta, but they have now been fixed. There are a few things like crashing and issues that I have had, especially whilst recording, but these are things that will be fixed later on. So I think it's very important once these keys are sent out, people take this as a reason to help the developers rather than just a fulfillment of their own Mountain Blade 2 Battle enjoyment. But nonetheless, it is coming, and next week is the start of when all the keys start to be sent out. Now I know this next one is a bit of old news, but I never really made a video covering it because I didn't think a whole video was really warranted by this tiny bit of news, but it, I mean it's quite exciting. The next Total War Saga game looks like it's going to be set in ancient Troy. Total War filed a copyright for The Iliad, which of course is Homer's novel about Troy and about that era. Maybe we're going to get some awesome new heroes. In Three Kingdoms we saw the introduction of some great new heroes through ancient China. Maybe looking at this into the Iliad, we might get some heroes of the ancient era. Paris, Hector, Achilles. I'm really looking forward to it because it looks like it's going to be a continuation of what we really got in Rome too, but focusing on a smaller scale in this certain part. But it's going to feel the same. It's going to have very similar fighting styles and tactics. And you know me, I goddamn love Rome too. Total War. Three Kingdoms now has a horde mode, which is terrible, and Age of Empires Definitive Edition got a release date at Gamescom. Of course, this is the 4K update with new added factions and new modding support, and at Gamescom they did announce that the 14th of November 2019 is going to be the release date for this incredible game. It is 22 years after the release of the first Age of Empires. Oh, how poetic. Speaking of poetic though, the early access for Mountain Blade 2 Battle Lord is actually coming out in March 2020, which is the 10th anniversary of the release of Mountain Blade Warband. They have said on the latest developer blog that this wasn't intended at all, but it is quite nice. It was a complete coincidence that it ended up being at that point, but I think it is... <laughs> It seems a bit too close, but I guess it's just fate telling us that Battle Lord needs to come now. But finally, many people keep asking me about Mountain Blade 2 Battle Lord and whether it's coming on console. Now, I have made videos on in this past, but of course, some people just don't want to go back and see them. So I'm going to explain it very quickly here. Number one. <coughs> Scrap. Number two, it probably will at some point, but they don't really have any plans for it at the moment. They have stated in interviews that while it is a possibility, since of course Mountain Blade Warband was released on console, it is not at the forefront of their thinking. They want to really focus on getting it right on PC, and I think most people will agree that that is the right option to do. PC is a more complex machine, and it needs to be optimized for different types of hardware on PC. When you've got a console, you know exactly what the 
person's going to be running it on and exactly what machine is going to be working the different bits of your game. PC is way more varied, so it takes a bit longer in terms of development time, getting it optimized to all the different variables. Whilst it probably most likely isn't going to be anytime soon, if it is coming, it's not going to be until a few years after the full release on PC. So now that's out of the way, please stop asking. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel for more content on Mountain Blade 2 Battlelord in the updates to the upcoming release of the Early Access. But until then, I will see you in the next one.